moments away at Chase Field. Stay tuned for Marlins Baseball next. Afternoon baseball at Chase Field on a fine Sunday in the desert southwest. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the Marlins and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to Marlins Baseball on the show. I'm joined by Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Eric, let's give the folks at home a look at what's happened in the first two games of the series. Yeah, and you can see there, these home fans haven't had much to get out of their seats about. The guys are in danger of getting sweat here at home, so they're going to be hoping for a much better effort here. More from the guys moving forward this afternoon, but first, let's have a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Miami Marlins. They'll line themselves up like this here this afternoon. And there's a look at the starter this lineup will match up against as you take a look at his line on the right side of your screen. Perhaps the fastest man in baseball as Billy Hamilton strides forward to get this ball game underway. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the first pitch today is taken for strike one. DK, these Diamondbacks as they begin play, fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. And you know, the little things have been a recurring theme on these telecasts for years now but when you're in a losing streak like this no matter how minor it is it always seems like the little things are going the other team's way that has certainly been the case these last few games swing and a liner foul Here comes another 0 2. And a good two strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0 2. Now here's the pitch. And they take him out of the zone here, and he obliges. Not the greatest of swings there for the first out. So the leadoff man is taken care of to start our finale here this afternoon. And with that, Bring in a look at the defensive alignment for the Diamondbacks. It's brought to us by Majestic, the official uniform of Major League Baseball. Christian Yelich will get his first opportunity now, currently sitting in fourth place in the National League in stolen bases. First pitch coming. On oh, a big swing there, and he really got into it high and deep to left center field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he will make it there with a double to start the ball game. So a double into the gap has him in business here with one away. And as you have a look there at the Marlins leaderboard, you can see he currently ranks second in that department. David Rosario will stand in now. And as you can see there, he comes in currently ranked seventh in RBIs in the National League. First pitch coming. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. Peralta comes on now and puts it away for the second out of the inning. Well, you know, he had the right idea up there, so at least you know he's thinking. He tried to go the other way with this ball, but he got under it just a little bit, and it's an easy play out there in left field. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in now. He homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Here's the first pitch to him. Pops this one up just beyond the infield on the right side. Connor is there and the side is 
retired. One left for Miami. And now Arizona gets its first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. the Marlins will align themselves like this. Anthony DeJesus will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Now here's the ball hit hard on the ground to second. Throw on to first by Cano, and there's the first out of the inning. David Yu will stand in now. 0 for 4 in that day game yesterday. Fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. These Marlins, EK, as they take the field here this afternoon, they have certainly had it going lately, winners of eight in a row. Yeah, and when you're on a streak like this, as you said, eight games now, it starts being really fun to come to the ballpark. Clubhouse is loose, the guys are positive. You want to keep this thing going as long as they can. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. And this is fouled back and out of play. Bases are empty, one man out. He'll try again, one, two. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Here he comes again, one, two. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Here's another one, two. And he no, lays off a pitch ball. outside as they draw even at two and two. And you know what, guys? This is a big league battle going on right now. Neither guy wanting to back down. No sign of weakness on either side. Under it now is Stanton to make the catch, and there are two away now. Paul Goldschmidt will stand in now. Certainly a dangerous hitter as he ranks number two in the National League in home runs. And this pitch is right down the middle, strike one. And on cue, here are the National League home run leaders I referred to a moment ago. Pitch on the way. Here's a swing and a bouncing ball hits a Gregorius at short. You know. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. On to the second inning here in the desert with no score. The second baseman, Robinson Cano, will lead Please things off ahead. here as it'll be five, second six, baseman. and seven due up to Robinson kick off the second. Cano. First offering on the way. And that swung on and missed for strike one. And you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really covers well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. Cano waiting on the 0-1. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Now here it comes. Out of play off to the right. Ready with another 0 2. And the changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Kyle Seeger will get his first chance at it now. Didn't factor much into the win yesterday as he took an 0 for 4 in the ball game. And that's lifted the other way out to left. And two quick outs here in the second. And you'll see where this pitch is. It's up. But it's up far enough that you can't quite get on top of it. And he winds up lifting a lazy fly ball.
Standing in now, Andrew Susak. As he'll pop this one fouled off to the left, and it's strike one. Here's the pitch. That's on the ground to short. This should end the inning. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Marlins. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Leading up for the diving bank. Oliver Camacho Oliver will get his first opportunity Camacho. now. 14 home runs to his credit so far this year. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first out. Well, nothing better than a first pitch pop up to start the inning. And you'll take that every time. David Peralta will stand in now, just a few ticks shy of the 300 mark for the season. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. The fastball looks awfully sharp here early on. Sound sharp, too. Now here's the pitch. And a classic 0 2 pitch as the changeup misses low, and it's 1 and 2 now. And that's his strikeout pitch right there. You know, you'll see a lot of guys swing right over the top of that one. That's a great job there just to hold off. Under it now is Stanton to make the catch, and there are two away now. Brett Lurie will stand in, currently eighth in the National League in hitting to enter play. And he'll lay off a fastball here in a good spot, but rule the ball 1-0. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. The one one. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. And a good pitch there, but it's taken for a ball, and it's two and two to the Arizona third baseman. Four pitches. Fast, slow, fast, slow. EK, you thinking fastball here? It's and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Diamondbacks down in order. We'll move to the third with no score. Didi Gregorius is ready to go here as we begin the third. For the Marlins. Shortstop, Didi Gregorius. First pitch to him. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. Trying to jump on that first pitch changeup. That's a good pitch there to start this A-B. Now the pitch. Reaches for one and slaps it down the line at third. And that'll get by Lawry down the line. It's a fair ball. Yeah, an ideal setup here with the pitcher on deck. He comes through with a solid single to start things out. Now you give your pitcher a chance to bunt you over and make a productive out. Shelby Miller will stand in in what would appear to be a sacrifice situation here. Now the first pitch. Runners on the move for second. And they'll indeed have the pitcher squaring around as he puts this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. And with your pitcher at the plate, you always like it when he can get that bump down on the very first pitch. Not only do you let him get back to the dugout and rest up just a little bit, but you also keep that momentum going. That's a nice job right there. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in. As this is popped foul behind the plate, it's strike one. One strike offering now to Hamilton. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. Catch made there by Lowry, and there are two gone now. And, and this is right where they wanted to see. You see it on show track there? They wanted to take him up around the letters, hoping for the pop-up, but that's exactly what they got. In is Christian Yelich as he will swing at the first pitch and send a ground ball out to short. After that. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. 
A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Charlie Connor will come forward to begin the inning. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. And they're still searching for a base runner. It's been six up, six down to start the game. And this pitch is hit rather sharply toward the third base coaching box. It's a foul ball. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now. 0 and 2. Fouled back. 0-2 once more. Swing and a hard liner to short. And he's retired one away. And that ball is rifled at him that time, and it just about took him into left field. Somehow he gets his glove down there and makes a nice play. Stepping in now, Jordan Schaefer. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He'll enter play here at 304. One home run and 14 driven in. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0 and 2. I tell you, he's got a good pace, a good tempo to him out there right now. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0 and 2. And yet another foul ball here as this finds the seats and the count will remain at 0 and 2. Takes something no, off, down. but it's ball. 1 and 2 now. And now pitch on the way. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Hey, if you came here to see offense in this ballgame, sit back and relax just a little bit. Both of these pitches are absolutely dueling it out right now. Ruby De La Rosa will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Now, this has been total <laughs> domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. And, one and a pitch one. in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Ball and two strikes two. to count now with the bases empty and two away. Now that he's fully loose out there. I'm sorry to interrupt, but that's the third strike and the third out. Side is retired. So one, two, three go the Diamondbacks. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. David Rosario will get us started here for Miami, and he'll have backup in the form of Giancarlo Stanton waiting on deck. Here's the first offering. And he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate here as that misses. I doubt he wanted to get in quite so tight with the hard stuff there, but hey, this is a guy with good opposite field power, so you don't want to just give him free reign to lean out over the plate. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball, one and one. Here's the one one pitch. And he's behind one now as he missed strike. badly on that swing, one and two. Well, he doesn't look very settled up there right now, and I guess that's an easy thing to do when you're facing a guy who throws as hard as this guy does. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third, and bring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. Just overmatched him there. It's a one-two fastball. This is right by him. Absolutely no contest. Giancarlo Stanton now. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. And it'll stay in the park as it hits high off the right field wall. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Well, we haven't seen a run across the plate yet, but we nearly had one right there. Here's another look at it. This gets all the way out to and off of the wall. And now he cruises into second with a double. Here comes the second baseman, Robinson Cano. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Get 
getting a few steps off a of second there. Now the pitch. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. And he'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. You know, this is one of the few downsides to being a guy with tremendous strength at the plate. Once you get that thing started, it's really hard to put on the brakes. And he winds up breaking the plane right here, and that's strike three. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger, as he will swing at the first pitch and send a ground ball out to short. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Marlins leave one. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Anthony DeJesus will stand in to begin their half of the fourth with his guys still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Yeah, still looking for their first base runner, too. Nine up, nine down. And there's ball one. Now Miller on one and one. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Ball two. Here it comes. Now a big swing, and this is a major league pop-up. Way up there toward the center of the diamond. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. These guys are still looking for that elusive first hit. And this never had a chance of being the one. Just an easy pop-up as he keeps rolling right along. David Yu will try it again. He flew out his first time. Oh, he got his fastball that time as this one sent into right center. That's a base hit. And this is something they've worked on in the batting game, taking some of the movement out of his swing. Much more compact now, and he's seeing some definite results. Paul Goldschmidt will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. A lot of these guys have come into these at-bats trying to be the aggressor, the trying to make something one happen. One. But what has happened is that they've swung and missed themselves into some early holes. Good riding action to that thing at his ball with two strikes. Yeah, the best way to neutralize this guy's power, just keep putting pitches right there. One, two. Swing and a liner. But that's a foul ball. Again, a 1-2. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. And this one is gone! A home run! Two-run home run off the bat of Paul Goldschmidt. Number 23 for him thus far. And Arizona moves out in front down 2-0. up there he was guessing right because he's all over that thing like a shaggy dog he drives it over the wall into the box Oliver Camacho as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one boy he goes right back to that same pitch that he just gave up a home run on put it in another dangerous location too lucky he got away with that one Swing and a ball line hard towards short. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Oh, you know this ball had base hit written all over it. And for as hard as it was hit, it may have even made it into the alley. But that's a nice job at short to get all the way up there and just pull this thing down for the out. Into the box now, David Peralta. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Here's a swing and a little tapper in front of the mound. Throw in time, and the side is retired. But the Diamondbacks pick up a couple courtesy of this two-run home run. We played four. It's now 2-0 Arizona. Andrew Susak will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Andrew Susak. And 
Here's the first pitch. And look out as this bat shatters on impact. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first down. So we saw the fastball there as he got the pop out, and that'll segue right into our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And whoa, look at that for a top speed. 98 miles an hour. That man is flat feeling. Now here's the first pitch. Didi Gregorius is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Well, you see his pitch count on your screen right there. That's not a mistake. But he's been loving those first pitch outs, that's for sure. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Now the pitch. Oh, and he gets a fastball up in the zone, and he hammers it out to deep left field. And this baby is gone, a home run. So a solo shot down the line in left, and the Marlins have made this a two-to-one game. Sometimes as a pitcher out there, you have to challenge guys up in the strike zone. The only thing is, it just can't be out over the middle of the plate. Here he got the fastball up all right, but he didn't get it in. So he extends his arms out there and he hits this ball a long, long way. The pitcher number seven. Standing in now, Shelby, Shelby Miller. Miller. He sends it out to left field. Well hit. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Well, you always want to be aggressive at the plate, but my goodness, look at that ball to strike ratio so far. These guys are swinging at everything. I mean, everything. Billy Hamilton will stand in. He struck out and popped out in two trips. First pitch coming. Now a fastball is lifted into the air to shallow center. And he can't track it down as this ball falls. As we look at that again, you know, this is not a bad pitch by any stretch. If he throws this pitch 10 times, I bet he gets him out nine of them. But here you just have to tip your cap to the guy at the plate. In is Christian Yelich. As he'll swing and hit this one hard but foul off to the left and out of play. From the stretch. A great job of changing speeds there. It's 0-2. And, and it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world here to mix in a take every now and again. Now a move over to first. No, Runner geez. back safely. set now the pitch swing hard hit ball to second throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired Marlins get one back thanks to the solo home run middle of the afternoon here in Phoenix it's the D-backs two and the Marlins one Brett Laurie will stand in to lead things off Three in the bottom of the fifth Goes the other way and sends it deep down the right field line. Stanton is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. The batter number double zero. Second baseman. Charlie, Charlie Connor is at the plate now and he takes a cold strike. You can tell here in his mind he's thinking quick inning. He's not even trying to set guys up. He's coming right after him. Pitch on the way. And he struck him out. Well, there's no question this guy's got to be in the running for the Cy Young this year. He makes quick work with this guy on three pitches. That was just too easy. In now, Jordan Schaefer. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. 
well on his way to another good inning right here. And you see the pitch count. It's not even close to being a factor just yet. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. David Rosario will stand in to lead things off as the Marlins look to get things started here in their half of the sixth. Now the Diamondbacks get a left-hander up and working in the bullpen. And that's by him. It's 0-1. Boy, he has been a first-strike throwing machine, hasn't he? He's hardly been behind in the count all game long. The pitch. Out in front, but this is skied into straightaway right. And the sixth inning opens with a flyout, one away. Yeah, a another good start to an inning for him here. He's really only made one bad pitch the entire game. That was the solo home run. Other than that, you can see there, not much to speak of at all. Here's the first offering. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Now here's the pitch. Fastball, and oh, he has to bend out of the way of that one. Yeah, he's not trying to hit him, I don't think, but sometimes you need to keep guys honest up there. I think that's all he was trying to do there. Now here it comes. Fouled back. Here's the one two. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. And a bit of a high throw that time but no problem over there at first as they record the out. You can't underestimate how important a start this is when your team's on a losing streak. He has been phenomenal. It's all thanks to him that they've got a good shot at ending this thing. Robinson Cano will come in now with two away. And to this point, at least, so much for having the three, four, five guys get the rally started. Yeah, it's been an important inning for that man out there on the mound. He's held his ground, and he may get through the teeth of this lineup, still holding on to that lead. And he'll take strike oh, one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. And I wish more guys would pitch like this. I mean, look at that pitch count right there. That is really low for this stage of the game, and it's because he's throwing. I'll oh, hold that thought as the play is made out there for round number three, and the side is retired. Miami down in order. They're down 2 1. Leading out for the Diamondbacks. Ruby De La Rosa stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. For that man right there, you need look back only to his last start to see a performance like the one he's shown here so far. And well on his way to another great outing. And that's what you get when you mix your speeds and throw a lot of strikes. The next 0-2. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Anthony DeJesus will get his third shot at it here. He's bounced out and popped out in his previous two trips. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Pro gets him two down. Now batting right fielder David Yu. David Yu will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Now the one two. That's it to short. Does he have another one two three inning? He does. Eight in a row he's set down and the side is retired. Diamondbacks down in order. They lead it two to one. Welcome back to Chase Field here in Phoenix. 
We're on to the seventh with the Diamondbacks out in front. And before we get the inning underway, let's get a look at our game summary to this point. Kyle Seeger will stand in here to start the seventh. EK, it's been a pitching and defense afternoon all throughout. Yeah, neither starter looking like he's ready to blink. Neither one of them looking all that tired just yet. And now some action in that Arizona bullpen as it looks like they'll have both the lefty and the righty up to throw. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Now the pitch. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Here's the pitch. Here's a sharply hit ball toward the hole, and the tying runs on base right off the bat. That gets through for a leadoff single. Well, even when you keep him in the ballpark, he can be trouble. Here he's right on this pitch, and he smokes it into left field for a solid single. Now here comes the Arizona skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. Oliver Perez will come on now as he'll take over in inning number seven. Andrew Susak will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. The look by Perez, now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. He set. Now the pitch. Swing and a liner. But this will be a foul ball. Has a look. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. One there on the first, so he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play. Didi Gregorius will stand in again as we take you back to earlier in the ball game. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. Now here's the first pitch. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. And now pitch on the way. Oh, and he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. And, and that slider is going to make some guys look bad. When he's throwing it good, it's a really tough pitch to get a handle on. Here it comes. And a sinker there. Swung on and missed for out number three. Nothing doing for the Marlins. Our score remains two to one. Paul Goldschmidt will stand in again as we flash you back to earlier. He's accounted for their only run to the ball game. Now the first pitch. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. Uh, this will be foul off to the right out of play. This ball will be chopped foul. The pitch. 
A ball and two strikes now to the 2014 All-Star. Now here's the pitch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. And you just get the sense that he's got it on cruise control out there now. Make now it nine in a row he's set now. Oliver Camacho. Oliver Camacho will dig in now. He's popped out and lined out 0 for 2 thus far. And boy, well hit, but out of play into the stands in deep right. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. Now here it comes. And he missed with it. It's one and two. We're in the seventh inning now, but pitchers duel two to one our score. Oh, and he struck him out as well, so he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. And you start to wonder if anyone's going to get on base against him again. That's 10 straight now. He's tired. David Peralta will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. First pitch on the way. Yeah. And that's in there for strike one. You have to say they've really had a good game plan for attacking the three, four, five hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's right. better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. And a classic 0-2 pitch as the changeup misses low, and it's one and two now. Well, that's a smart miss there. They know he'll chase it down there. So even if it didn't get the job done, it's a great pitch on 0-2. This is in the air to center. Does he have another one, two, three for the ledger? You bet he does. 11 in a row set down, and the inning is over. So one, two, three go the Diamondbacks. They still lead it two to one. Shelby Miller will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Shelby Miller. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. First pitch coming. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Now here's the pitch. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Pitch on the way. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one. He swings and misses for the first out. But look there at the numbers for our two starters here today. With both guys recently departed from the ball game and looking on from the dugout. Billy Hamilton will step in. A base hit in his last time. Here's the first pitch to him. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. Credit where credit's due. This guy's done a good job out of the bullpen. No question. He's been able to hold that lead, and these guys really haven't threatened him at all. One strike offering now to Hamilton. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Our pitcher's duel continues here. 2-1 to one score as we play the eighth. And now a pitch on the way. Struck him out. But he'll try for first on the drop third strike. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first. And there are two away now. Christian Yelich will stand in here hoping to at least put a ball in play here this inning. First pitch coming. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. DeJesus will put this one away and his side is retired. 
So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. First offering on the way. Brett Laurie is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Yeah, he probably won't have too big a dip in velocity the rest of the way. But the later this game goes, the more important it'll be to watch where his location is. That's probably the bigger concern. Back-to-back -back oh, fastballs here as he takes control 0-2. And, and it looks like the scouting report says, work this guy away, and it's been paying off. And whoever put together that scouting report did a real nice job because this whole team hasn't done much offensively at all. Another 0-2 coming. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. It's starting to look like he's not going to get a victory here. But still, a lot of positives to take away from this outing is you see his numbers right there. More often than not, you put together a line like that, you're going to come away with a W. Charlie Connor will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And the pitch. And a pitch one, in one. the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. Second strikeout for him here in the inning. Make that nine now in the ball game. He is just carving these guys up right now. Into the box, Jordan Schaefer. As this is pot foul behind the plate, it's strike one. Here's the pitch. I oh, got him to swing on top of that one as this ball's dribbled out in front of the mound. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So they go down without a whimper here. Ninth inning coming up. It's the D-backs two and the Marlins one. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Addison Reed is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Now pitching and batting in the eighth spot, number 43, Addison Reed, now playing center field and batting in the ninth spot. David Rosario will stand in, and they've been able to hold him in check so far. 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, it's kind of surprising that he's been a non-factor in this one. Usually a major force in their offense. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Well, and he gets the inning started with a bang as this is hit high and deep to left field. Gone! And we are tied here in the ninth. Solo shot here to left. 19th home run for him on the season as the Marlins have rallied back to tie it at two apiece. How's this for a welcome to the ball game? One pitch and see you later. I've got a feeling that's not what the manager had in mind. Now batting, right fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton now. As he'll swing and pop this one up out in the area of second base. Connor is there and he's got it for the first out. Uh, popping it up is bad enough, but doing it on the first pitch, you know, and out of the zone to move. I mean, this just is not a good AB. I can tell you that. Robinson Cano will dig in with one in and one away. Now the first pitch. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. And he's going to make the play over toward his right, and there are two away now. 
You see this ball start slicing away from him toward the end here, but he winds up staying right with it and running it down. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. As he swings at the first pitch and lifts a fly ball out to left field. Peralta is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Marlins able to knock things up on the solo home run. Home half of the ninth coming up, and we're deadlocked now with two apiece. Brian Morris will come on needing to get three outs here to try to send this game to extra innings. Ryan Moore. Aaron Hill is up off the bench to lead it off as the possible winning run here in the bottom of inning number nine. able to foul it away. Now here's the pitch. And here's a big swing as he sends this one in the air out toward deep center. And the pinch hitter is retired here, one away. That ball was hit well, and it might have been a different story if he pulled it. Instead, he hit it to the big part of the ballpark, and he's retired. Anthony DeJesus will stand in, and they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's yeah. 0 for 3 thus far. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here, 0 and 1. Now the pitch. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0 and 2. And this is hit sharply toward the third base coaching box, a foul ball. Another 0 2 home. That's up the middle, and there you go. Maybe a shot now with two away. As the winning runs aboard, it's a base hit. There you go. Now that potential winning run is on at first base. I don't think they'll try to butt him over here either. Not with one out already. They'll be open for a gapper to try and end this right here, right now. David, you stand in in a tie ball game here where a ball in the alley could end this thing. Here's the first pitch. He's running towards second. Pitches a ball strike to throw. Not in time as he steals second. And you know what, guys? That could turn out to be the most important play of this game so far. They roll the dice and send him with one away. But he's in there safely. And now you've got all sorts of opportunities to end this thing with a base hit. The 0-1. Plays one off the slider, and it's 1-1. One and one. Pitches a cold strike to throw. And that right there is about as nutty a decision as I've ever seen. I mean, you're the winning run. You're already in scoring position. It's going to wind up working out, but that can't have come from the bench. He had to do that one on his own. He waits. Now the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Possible winning run just 90 feet away here. One away. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Your job right here on the mound. Got to think strikeout number one, ground ball number two. You can't leave anything up that can easily be a sack line. Here's the 2-2 two -two pitch. Here's a ball hit foul down the third baseline, so they'll try it again. Ready with another two-strike offering. 
And he will take strike three called. And as big an out as you can ask for there as the winning run stays at third with two away now. now he could pitch all year and not come up with a bigger strikeout than the one right here. That winning run has to stick tight over at third base. And now the infield can move back to normal. first offering and he turns this one around high and deep to center field Hamilton is there now to put this one away for the third out as they'll strand that potential go ahead run at third base one left for Arizona score remains two to two Randall Delgado Come on now as he'll take over to start the extra frame. Chris Dickerson is into the ball game now as he assumes duties in center field. Andrew Susak come on now to start things out in the tenth. And you have to figure the momentum is squarely on their side after the manner in which that ninth inning went down. Yeah, just a great comeback to tie the game in the top of the ninth, followed by putting up the zero in the bottom half. This is a ball club that just won't quit out there, and they're going to keep fighting until the last out. Didi Gregorius will stand in. He homered back in the fifth inning of this one. Action now in the Arizona bullpen as they have a right-hander up and throwing. First pitch to him. Fouled back. Now the pitch. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Boy, he's got that thing going good. He just takes a nosedive right at the end. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Perfect start to the tenth here. Two up and two down. Two quick outs here to start things off. Can't ask for much more than this in extra innings. Hold serve, then give your guys a shot to win in the bottom half. Jordani Valdespi will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. A high pop up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. Goldschmidt got it and the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. So one will win it here as we go to the bottom of inning number 10. And we are tied 2 2. AJ Ramos will come on here to start the home 10th, and all he's looking to do is get this one to the 11th inning. Camacho will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Straight paint at 94 miles an hour. Not a lot of movement there, but it's right on a dime. Now this is wrapped back up the middle, and that's what they needed to start things out. The winning runs aboard. It's a leadoff single. Good job here. He stays inside the ball well, doesn't fall over, and just shoots his ball right back up the middle. Now time is called, and a very wise decision here with the potential winning run at first. They'll opt to put a little extra speed on the base pass. Into 
the box now. David Peralta. As he'll take a changeup here for strike one. A look at the hit totals there into extra innings. The 0-1. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that is through into center field. A base hit. Throw comes into the infield. And the winning run moves up to second now with nobody out. Brett Laurie will stand in now. Hitless to this point, but with a chance to be a hero here. Well, he knows better than anybody in that lineup that one <laughs> swing could make up for a whole game's worth of struggles. Fastball in there for a called strike. Now with two on, nobody out, you got to be thinking strikeout double play out there on the mound. One or the other is what you really need. Hit on the ground, but foul. Now the 0-2 pitch. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Ready with another two-strike offering. And a good two-strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0-2. In under the hands with a fastball, it's 1-2. and two. Still now on 1-2, and two, you don't have to make the perfect pitch out there. The count is still well in your favor on the mound. That ball's foul. It hard to the right side, but foul, so we'll see if he can straighten that out. Possible winning run on second. No one out. And this will be fouled away. Big pitch here, one and two. And the slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Here he comes on two and two. And that swung on and fouled straight back. 2-2 Two -two one more time. And a bouncing ball, foul. Now another 2-2. Two -two. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now the 2-2 two -two pitch. And he is down on strikes again. So get your hats out. That's the third strike out of the game. And really, all you were hoping for at the plate was to at least get that winning run to third with one out. Instead, this becomes a badly wasted at. Charlie Connor step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances, but he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. And a ball, one out. Game winners at second base here with one away. The 1 0. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. Now, 2 0 home. And he finds the black here with a curveball, 2 and 1. Yeah, and it's tough enough to hit 95 plus mile an hour fastballs. That curve gives you something else to think about altogether. Now the 2-1. Yeah. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Mm, a little conviction behind that fastball. Possible game winners at second base here with one away. Now a ball line hard toward right center. Uh, this will not get out there deep enough as it's run down by the right fielder in the alley for the second out. And that's one of those plays where you might need to reinforce the laces on your glove after this inning ends. This is a fastball, and it is hammered. I mean smoke. But he ends up with nothing, and his average is going to go down. Justin Smoke will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. If there's one guy on this roster that wants the ball in a moment like this, this is the guy. The 0-1. Oh, 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 this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. Uh, with the game on the line here, you got to make sure. And hold that thought as that's a strikeout for route number three. So the inning will come to an end.
Diamondbacks brand a pair. And this game is still tied at two and two. Herb Fuentes will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Now catching number three, Herb Fuentes. Henry Rodriguez will be summoned from the bullpen here as he'll take over to start inning number 11. Billy Hamilton will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Billy Hamilton. And not the greatest of starts to the at bat as he reaches for one out of zone for strike one. Oh, you cannot get caught making up your mind to swing before you even see where the pitch is going to be. I mean, I wasn't even close. One strike offering now to Hamilton. Now a swing and a little pop up here right behind home plate. Now here it comes. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. And that's the right spot for that slider. Really try hard to tie him up inside. And that's a good job to lay off, too. Here comes the one, two. And a swing and a bouncing ball back up the middle. On the first. And how important is it to keep this guy off base in a tie ball game? One away. Christian Yelich will step in. One for four in the ball game. And here's the first pitch. And a fastball wow. runs in a bit too close for comfort that time. He will definitely give you something to think about up there. There are no comfortable at-bats against this guy. The 1-0. Starts to go That's around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. Two well count the pitch swing and a ball hit on the ground but this will get foul two and one now the two one on oh, a good pitch there that instruction to get out there and it's two and two now very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s you just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. And he tried to hold up that time. Get an appeal down to third, and no swing. It's ball three. Now the three and two pitch. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. Throw on to first, two gone. And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He doesn't really have a chance to set himself up, so this is all arm, but he makes it look routine. David Rosario will get another crack at it here as he flashes back to the ninth inning. His solo home run was a big one as it helped to get us to where we are now in the extra inning. First pitch coming. Now a swing, and he pops him up right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Marlins. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Two, two. Chris Dickerson digs into the plate. Center fielder, Chris Dickerson. Now here's the first pitch. Now this is wrapped back up the middle, and that's what they needed to start things out. The winning runs aboard. It's a leadoff single. 
Well, these guys have been high on effort, but low on results so far. They're still stuck on two runs, but at least they've got a leadoff base runner here to start this inning. Anthony DeJesus will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. Trying to get that go-ahead run to scoring position now as he puts this one down. Only play will be the first, so there you go. The possible winning run is into scoring position now on the sacrifice. Hit softly to the right side. On the first, and there were two down. Paul Wilchman will have a chance here in a crucial spot with the go-ahead run just 90 feet away. Here's the first pitch. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency hat. The 0-1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. One and one. The one and one pick. Stay out there. Don't come down the middle because we know he can hurt you. To two and two now. From the belt. Kicks and deals. Did he Guarded to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Now the three and two pitch. And he strikes him out to retire the side. So we'll play at least one more. One left for the Diamondbacks. Score remains. Two to two. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in to start out the 12th inning of play. And it starts to become a war of attrition once you've reached this point in the ballgame. Yeah, we're getting to the point where there's some really tired legs out there on both sides. The bullpens have been working overtime. In fact, even the announcers are starting to get a little bit hoarse. Pitch on the way. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. Yeah, he started to go up the ladder there, but then he realized in time that he wasn't going to get there. one -oh. Another Come fastball. On. This one he gets by him. It's 1-1. One and, one. and you can tell by the way these guys are swinging. They're just not picking the ball up very well. A lot of late swings. Pitches are getting on these guys quick. Now the one and one pitch. And this ball runs away from ball two. Two and one. Two, one. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Uh, this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Two, two. Now a swing and a miss and Stanton is down on strikes for round number one. Now programming note to pass along. Those of you tuning in to see our afternoon aerobics show get fit with Eddie Cram. Unfortunately, due to the length of the game, that show will not be seen today. Ladies, we apologize. Robinson Cano will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Cano waits on the first pitch. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. One out, nobody on. Cano waiting on the 0-1. Now here's a swing and a high pop-up, drifting into shallow right field. Connor ranges back, and he has it for route number two. And as a defender, 
these are the kind of pitchers you like to play behind. Someone who pitches to contact, keeps the defense involved, and he gets an easy pop-up right here. Now here's the first pitch. Swing and a high pop-up toward the stands behind third. Lauren is there to make the catch and the side is retired. Herb Fuentes will lead things off here as they look to try and win this thing in the bottom half. Gets under this one as this is hit high and pretty deep out there to center field. Hamilton has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. Quick outs are the key at this point in the ball game. Save your bullets. You never know how far you're going to have to go. Fouled straight back. The pitch. Slider and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Ready with another 0-2. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And here's where on the mound, you gotta tell yourself, you did everything right there. This was an 0-2 pitch, and he did a great job of getting him to hit it on the ground. He just happens to find a hole on the right side. What are you gonna do? Tyler Johnson will come on defensively now as he takes over at second. Here's the third baseman, Brett Lowry. It's outside the throw. Ball there, and he is out trying to take second. Good throw. And I bet they had a little bit of a feeling that he might be on the move right here. This is a good pitch to throw on. Fastball, outer half of the plate, and they wind up nailing him. Now the 1-0. And this is going to be a foul ball. And now a pitch on the way. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Boy, he might be pressing his luck a little now. That's two straight pitches right down the middle. No, that's out. Misses, ball two. Yeah, that's a great pitch on one and two. He started in the zone, and hopefully you'll get that guy thinking he needs to protect. Turned out to be a good take. 2-2 two -two pitch on the way. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. Nothing doing for Arizona. And this game is still tied at 2-2. Two two. Andrew Susak will see if he can get things started here in the top half of the inning. Now the first pitch. Now a ball ripped into deep center field. Dickerson is there, and he has it for the out. He's put together two spotless innings so far out of the bullpen. I think a third would be above and beyond the call. Didi Gregorius will stand in. He homered back in the fifth inning of this one. pitch on the way and he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul now the pitch and he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left and that ball is gone blasted into the bleachers in left Solo shot here to left. His second home run of the game as the Marlins move out in front now, three to two. Claudio Velasquez will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Now a 
swing and a hard hit grounder. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Now the pitch. And he pulls the string on another one. He's ahead 0 and 2 now. Now here's the pitch. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. And that's through for a base hit. This is a very good approach here with two strikes. It's a smart approach. You know, he's not trying to come out of his shoes here. He just makes a good two strike adjustment and delivers a nice solid base hit. That's how you do it. Billy Hamilton will stand in with a run in, one out and one on here in the inning. First pitch coming. Runner goes for second. And now he squares around and drops down a good one. And the throw is late at first, so they can't get anybody out. Well, I've got to imagine he's going on his own down there at first because rarely would you see a team trying to put down a bunt and run. They're going to wind up with runners at first and second after this, so it worked out okay in the end. In is Christian Yelich as he will swing at the first pitch and send a ground ball out to short. On the first, and it won't be in time to end the inning as he just about did a somersault out there at second base. And here's why you always go in hard at second base. This could be a very easy double play ball, but you see the aggressive slide here. That really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up getting just one on that play. Excellent aggressive base running. Stepping in now, David Rosario. Oh, my. As, oh, goodness. Not ready for that slider at all. Let's strike one. Anytime you can get a big league hitter to look like that, you know you've thrown a great pitch. Runners leap from first and third. Here's the pitch. Yeah, okay. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Yeah, he was out front right there, probably guessing fastball. But now, 0-2, he can't be guessing anymore. You got to find something in the strike zone and put it in play. Barnes, now the pitch. Swing and a miss on a ball in the dirt as they'll need to throw down to first. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes two to three for good measure as the inning is over. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. And now this crowd finds their club behind the eight ball here as they don't want to wind up on the losing end of this thing. The Marlins lead this one three to two. Ryan Cook will trot out of the bullpen as he'll finally try to put an end to this one here in the bottom of the 13th. forward now trying to at least get on base with his guys down to run here in extra innings. Yeah, I don't think you really need to be swinging for the fences just yet. You just need to find a way to get some guys on base and get that conveyor belt rolling. Henry Rodriguez will stand in for the first time here. Steve Seashack 
will come on now, now and at least they've one. saved their closer Number until three. this deep into extra three. inning. exactly how you have to attack a guy like this. He wasn't even close on that pitch. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Here comes a one-two. And that is swung on and missed. And things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. Chris Dickerson will dig in. He singled his first time around. Here's the first offering. Pitch to the plate as a sinker for a called strike one. And if he can come in here and start putting that pitch in that location, ain't nobody going to touch him. No. So the first is going to be in time to take care of him, and the Marlins will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Well, this one took them a little longer than expected, but they finally break through to take the lead in the top of the 13th, and then they hold on for dear life here to finish it off with a good road win. One last check of the line score in this extra innings victory. And fellas, as always, a few guys we could have chosen from, but out of everybody, that's the man who stands out in my book. He's our top player of the game. And I think, all things considered, this was really a team victory. But out of everybody, I agree, he made the biggest impact out there. Just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The Marlins win it 3-2. So long from Phoenix. No errors. They left six men on base. For the Diamondbacks, two runs, seven hits, no errors. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 50 minutes. A reminder that Goldstein Valley Metro is available in Copper Square at Central Station. Also, extra Metro rail trains are available at the Washington and 3rd Street stations.